Guy Lloyd-Jones, welcome back to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you very much indeed. Um, nice to be back. You, you've won uh, oh, so many uh, prizes and what have you. Uh, how does it feel to be recognised uh, by what was your undergraduate university here at Huddersfield? It's been an extremely, um, give me a very warm glow, I have to say. Very, very fond memories of being here. It was instrumental in my career, absolutely. And okay. had I not come here, uh, my path would have been very different. I see, and uh, you, you, um, when you came here originally, uh, one of the people who was uh, very instrumental was uh, Professor Mike Page. Yep. Um, what are your memories of Mike? Mike? He's still with us, would you believe? Yes, well, still he is, with us. he is. I'm uh, still very active. Mike was an extraordinarily good teacher, extraordinarily good. Um, and he taught us in the first year and, and in the final year. And, uh, if I had to identify one person that had the biggest impact on my career, it would be Mike. Which is saying something, I think. But one person, you know, being exposed to them for three years and them having an influence over 25 is quite a, uh, a mark. You have won so many prizes um, uh, over your career uh, and been appointed to various positions as well. Um, uh, recently, you won the Royal Society of Chemistry Tilden Prize. Um, if you had to uh, pick a, uh, an award or an appointment um, you know, that, that stood out for you, um, perhaps because, uh, not because it was the, the most major or significant, but so because of the work you've done or something, which one would it be? Uh, if I had to pick one, it would be election to the Royal Society last year in terms of fellowships, in terms of mm -hmm. prizes, probably the Physical Organic Award, which I won in 2010 or 2011. Uh, because Mike Page was so heavily involved in physical organic chemistry and there's a big connection there in terms of the way he influenced the way I think, the way I tackle problems and so that's the dearest prize or reward I guess to me. And uh, your work itself, your, your research, um, your, uh, your the Forbes, uh, you hold the Forbes chair Hello? at uh, Edinburgh, um, where do you see your work going now? Uh, because you, you, you research it, you've, uh, you've been researching for so many years, 25 is it? Uh, it is, w w yeah. w Where's your, your current area heading? Oh, well I hope I've got at least another 25 to go. But, right. uh, if you, yeah, if you like here. Mike, yes. Um, so I'm, I'm still very much interested in mechanism which is what, what the, the, the bulk of my research career is and indeed again stimulated my mic and the influence I had as an undergraduate here because I had a um, physical organic influence from Mike. I had a chemical, what was called chemical technology, which was really a chemical engineering module, which is actually very rare then and, st and still is, in fact, more so now. And uh, also quite unusual at the time as a third year in industry. I mean, placements are a common place now. But at that time, the sandwich course, as it was called, yeah. was quite rare. And so I yes. had exposure to physical organic chemistry, chemical engineering, and then a year in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, ICI. At IC, what well, was ICI? Mm -hmm. It became Zeneca, AstraZeneca, and so on. Maybe mm -hmm. Pfizer. Never know. Um, and that definitely shaped the directions I went in. That's quite a broad spectrum, but I find myself applying my chemical engineering, chemical technology training to um, solve synthetic reactions that are of interest to the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, coupled with the sort of physical organic training I have from Mike. That's a fairly rare set of skills, actually, although it took me 20 odd years to realise that. But I trace it all back to being an undergraduate here. It, it was a unique set that I didn't appreciate at the time, but in the fullness of time I've come to see it gives me a, uh, an edge that other people don't have. So I see that sort of area continuing, but we're beginning to develop some new techniques and approaches at Edinburgh with some startup money I've had there that allow us to look at very fast reactions extremely fast reactions, reactions are over like that and look at the, the, the subtleties and details of that. When you uh, look back over your 25 years and uh, you, you see the, the young undergraduates uh, starting out, uh, if you had to um, give them one bit of advice uh, as they, uh, they head on the path, um, what would it be? I think I would advise them to um, follow their nose, follow what they're interested in, not what they're told to, to do. They'll always be happier and more successful. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.